Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, unfortunately, uh, no video on the Camaro. Still waiting for a tool for that I need to do the rear end. But anyway, I thought I'd do a video today. I got a tire that's been going down, needs to be plugged. So uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video on this. So uh, there's a lot of debate on whether you should plug a tire or not. Most people say not, but uh, this is for my truck. I don't drive real fast, so and I'm, these tires are pretty well wore out. I figure I get one more summer out of them. This here is just going to be a video on how to plug a tire from the outside. Now, if, if I had this issue with the Camaro, I'd probably take it to a shop and they can apply a patch on the inside of the tire. So anyway, the first thing is you want to find out where your leak's coming from. Now, I didn't, I couldn't find a spray bottle, so I just got a bottle with soap and water in it. But if you had a spray bottle, the first place you'd want to check is right around the rim to see if it's leaking there and the valve stem. And if it's not there, then you can uh, just physically turn the tire until you see a nail or a screw or in this case, I already seen this, this is a rock that went through this one. But if you was looking and you weren't sure, you could spray like you can put water on your tire with a little bit of, I should have put a little more soap in it maybe, but anyway, I'll take you right to where the issue is. The issue is right here, I believe. Yeah, you can see it's a, sl a slow leak. See the bubble coming out? Actually, I'm gonna get some light here. Okay, get some light on it here. It's this big rock right here. You can see the air coming out. So they say what you want to do is pull out the nail or the screw, but I don't know how I'm going to get that rock out. I'll try something here. Okay, guys, so I just bought this cheap uh, tire repair kit at a truck stop. comes with some plugs and the tools you need to insert them and a little bit of uh, glue, rubber cement. So the first thing you want to do, I guess, is feed this through this hole right here. Seems easier said than done. You, know, you want to pull it right to the center. Yeah, that's pretty well the center. Then I say to apply a little bit of uh, glue to it. I've heard people say that you didn't need the glue, but I got the glue, so I might as well put some on. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I'm not gonna go very crazy with the glue, I said. Look at the mess I made here. So anyway, I'm gonna take these two tools here, bring them over. Jeez, and now I got it everywhere. Anyways, we'll take this over by the tire. And the rock actually came out easier than I thought. So I shoved it back in there just to show you what I did to get it out. Okay. And what I did, the rock was, you can see that I got the rock out. What I did was take the needle nose pliers and I just went around the rock like this and I pushed down until I was able to get a hold of it. And it just pulled right out. It's quite a big hole. So the next thing you want to do is insert this. And apparently you just go up and down just to smooth off the hole. Okay. Then you want to take this and just shove it three quarters of the way in, it said. <clears throat> It was in a little harder than I expected. Let's get on top of the tire here. Okay. I don't know if that's too far or not, but anyway, it said just pull it straight back out. Okay. So anyway, I'll let that dry up for a little bit, and then I'm gonna trim it off. Okay, guys, I'll let it set there just for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna they say to try to cut off the excess. Yeah, that should be good enough. It'll uh, 
wear off when you're driving. I don't, doesn't look like it's leaking to me. I think we cured our problem. Okay, guys, uh, well, no, it wasn't much of a video, but it could help somebody out. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more videos on the Camaro here coming up. Right now, we still got a lot of snow and probably a lot of wet weather coming. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.